today. We're getting ready to head out on Lake Superior and go catch some burbot tonight. And I just wanted to kind of go over my strategy for giving you guys like six tips to keep you organized on the ice and organized ahead of time so you can keep fishing when you're out there and not have to worry about tackle breaking down and stuff like that. So um, first of all, tip number one is I have already pre-tied all my lines. So I've got snells on my tip ups for, for burbot fishing. So I can just pull a snell off when I catch a burbot, snap a new one on. The right weight on there, I've got swivels on there. Uh, they're completely ready to go. The vultures are ready to go on those. And so we can just set up and immediately be fishing as soon as we get out there. So the rods, we're planning on hitting cohos first. So I've got all my rods tied up with coho jigs on the top of the pile so that we know that when we get there we can grab those rods first and catch cohos for an hour or two and then the burbot rods have got stowed away a little better we can pull those out the heavier stuff uh, once we get to our spot so tip number one get your rigs tied up pre-tied have everything ready to roll and you're going to save yourself tons of time uh, out there on the ice rather than tying up lines you can be fishing right away so that's tip number one so tip number two is to have all your batteries charged and ready to go. All your flashlights set up with, uh, with batteries that are fresh. Uh, your aerator set up with fresh batteries so that your minnows aren't going to die on you. I've got my panoptics here fully charged up. I've got my flasher charged up. I've got my camera gear charged up. Everything is ready to go. Fresh batteries so I don't have to be out there on the ice changing batteries out and hoping that my stuff is going to work for me. All my vultures have fresh batteries. I mean, I've gone through everything and I'm totally organized ahead of time so I don't have to worry about my equipment dying on me while I'm out there on the ice. So that's tip number two, fresh batteries. So tip number three is only take what you need with you. So I've got only the rods that I need with me. I've got some in my rod case here and then I've got some in my secondary rod case and only the ones that I know I need. The other ones I actually store up here. So I've got little hooks and any rods I'm, I'm not gonna need, I hang up here so that I don't have to waste space and uh, bring a bunch of extra stuff along. I can just, I don't get big tangles. I can keep my rods organized, know exactly what I need, have what I want tied up on them, ready to roll. And the same with the tip ups. I don't have any, like all my tip ups with me. I just have the, the four we're gonna need and that's all I'm bringing. So, uh, tip number three, only bring what you need, maybe one extra in case something breaks, but you just don't need to bring every tip up and every rod you have. So that's tip number three. Tip number four is be ready and prepared to know where you're going to go. I've got my GPS here all set up and all exactly my plan. I've got a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan E. I mean, you name it. We've, we've thought it through. We know where we're starting. We know where we're going to move for the night. We know where we're gonna be in the morning. We have a plan for if the fish aren't there, if they are there, that's all been thought through. It's all out on the maps. And we basically have a plan. Uh, certainly it can change, but at least we know where we're gonna start and basically what we're shooting for. So uh, number four, tip number four is pre-plan exactly what your plan is and think it out ahead of time so you aren't stuck on the, on the ice wondering, well, what do we do now? So that's tip number four. Tip number five, have everything ready on top. And whatever you plan on fishing for first, make sure you have that stuff open to access and on top of everything so you can get to it right away. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've actually just put all my stuff in the bottom and had to dig it out of my sled every time that I get out and try and fish. So make sure you put your stuff where you can get at it. And that's tip number five. So tip number six, uh, basically before you leave, make sure that you go through your pre-flight mental checklist, that you have everything you need. You've got your rods, your reels, your bait. Um, you've got everything you need, your boots. Boots, I need to go get my boots. Okay, I got my boots. That's important. I wear shoes because my feet sweat on the way up and if I don't remember my boots, I'm going to be fishing in tennis shoes, which is not going to be a good time. So glad I thought through that. Case in point, go through your mental checklist, make sure that you have everything you need. That's tip number six. 
you guys go and get out there there's still about a month of ice left hopefully here and then it's going to be on to open water i'm stoked to get in the boat uh, we might even be hopping out in the boat in the next week or two here on the river so we'll see you next time get hooked up keep that checklist going so you don't forget your boots <laughs>